One of Buffalo's leading industries right now is in the healthcare field, employing thousands upon thousands of people, some who already live in the Buffalo area, but also those of you who are looking to move up to the Buffalo area, and this is the reason why you're watching this video. We're gonna be going over the big three, ECMC, Buffalo General, and also Miller Fillmore out in the suburban area, where they're located, what areas surround these hospitals, and what you can expect lifestyle-wise outside of work. What's going on, you guys? I hope all is well. As always, in this video, we're going to be going over the big three hospitals. Now, there are a couple more that we will get to. There's over 25 hospitals in Buffalo. That's a lot of hospitals to cover in one video. But in this one, we're gonna go over Buffalo General, ECMC, and then Miller Fillmore, all a part of the Kaleida Health family. Now, we will do a separate video on Catholic Health, so if you guys do wanna see that, just let me know in the comment box below after you get done watching this video. But just so we're not going all over the place, here are the topics that we're gonna talk about we're going to give first a very quick overview of the hospital you know what they have to offer what are they about the second is going to be the area around the hospital so that surrounding neighborhood or neighborhoods that kind of make up that service community this third is going to be the livability how you will live once you get there get there whether that's renting whether that's buying whatever you feel comfortable doing and then lastly is going to be amenities food shopping clothes all that good stuff So now starting with the biggest hospital in the Erie County and somewhat New York area is ECMC or Erie County Medical Center. Now ECMC, many people know, we all want to go to ECMC. If there's anything that has to do with trauma, they're the number one trauma care hospital in the Buffalo area. And that's huge. So, you know, stabbing, shootings, I mean, wounds, anything like that, ECMC take care of. If anything happened to me, take me to ECMC. That's what we all say around the Buffalo area. ECMC boasts over 38 hundred employees they're the biggest hospital around the erie county western new york area they also bring in from a business side of thing 750 million dollars a year so they are not going anywhere they do a lot of good work for a lot of people let's get into the good stuff as that's a good overview ecmc is located on the east side of buffalo in that delavan slash grider community now is not the best community in the world. And for some reason, I heard that a lot of the big hospitals are always in like kind of like the worst to bad parts of a city. The campus at ECMC itself is immaculate, stated art, real nice waiting room, security in the lobby, restaurants inside the hospital. I mean, you have a lot of good things going on from the campus of ECMC and they're always expanded. Just the neighborhood around it is just not the best. We can be here all day as to why that is. In short, the east side of Buffalo has just never gotten a lot of the same attention that other areas have gotten. Why that is, again, we can be here all day. People gonna argue political, people gonna argue other things. Nonetheless, it is coming about, especially with a lot of different things going on in like that Broadway Fillmore area. They're trying to really revitalize that area. Hopefully the hospital continues to play a big part inside that community. As you guys know, Buffalo is a 15 minute city. You can get anywhere, when I mean anywhere, anywhere on Buffalo in about 15 minutes or less for sure. Now, because of that reason, I always ask my clients, especially where ECMC is located, it's centrally located. So you got a lot to choose from around you. Most of my clients that come up here that either work at ECMC or a nearby hospital, I always ask them first, hey, what are you looking to do? Are you looking to rent or are you looking to purchase? Do you wanna be inside the city or do you wanna be in a suburban area? Because ECMC is so centrally located, you have a lot of different neighborhoods and rental opportunities around you. So if we're talking rentals, you have a plethora around you inside about a 10 to about 12 minute commute to the hospital. Even if you're biking, you're only talking about a 17 minute bike ride for all my cyclers out there. Now, you have 
Elmwood Village and you have Allentown if you're going west. You have North Park or that North Buffalo area, continue to go north. Or say you wanted to be a little fancy and be along the water, you have Canal Side and then you also have First Ward along the water if you continue to go south. Now, say you don't want to rent. Hey, I want to get in there. I heard Buffalo is super, super affordable housing. What does it look like when it's time to purchase a property? If you're looking inside that 14215 area, that's the zip code that EC CMC Hospital is located in, you have a lot of different homes, whether a single family to multifamily, you have a lot to choose from. So you can be in a position where say you want to get a multifamily inside that 14215 area, which is always going to be hot because there's always a lot of people moving in there at a great opportunity to not only invest, but then house hack. And then later on, if you stay in the Buffalo area, now you got yourself a nice investment property. For single families though, in that 14215 area, you're only looking at about $147,000. Now, that's great, but Devante, I don't wanna really live inside the city. The closest suburban areas that's gonna be close to you, you're gonna have Kenmore to like the Northwest. That was like the first suburb suburb of Buffalo. You're gonna have Amherst and then you're gonna have Chitawaga. That's gonna be probably the closest suburb commute time back towards the ECMC direction that we're talking about. So if you're in Kenmore, you're looking at an average of about 202,000. Amherst is gonna be around 330. Amherst is known for being more like luxurious, that prestigious type of area. And then if you're looking at Chittawaga, that's gonna be around 210. So it really, again, depends on the lifestyle that you wanna live, whether that's city or suburban. Let's talk schools. Most people are always concerned about the different school districts when it comes to where the child is gonna be, which is very, very under understandable so in the buffalo area first off you're in new york state so you can't go wrong with a new york degree any shape way or form but in the side the buffalo area as long as you live inside the city you can go to any school inside the city whether you're gonna drop your kids off or that's a longer commute time or you're gonna go to one close by you i will say this though when it comes to the top schools inside of the city you're gonna have city honors you're probably gonna then have Hutch Tech, and then the last is probably gonna be Frederick Law Olmsted inside the city. Now, our suburban schools do always outrank our city schools. Besides City Honors and maybe Olmsted, for the most part, the, those suburban schools are gonna be the South. So you got places like, you know, Williamsville, Orchard Park, Clarence, Amherst Central. Those are gonna be your, a lot of your top suburban schools that a lot of people really wanna get their kids into. Not saying that the city schools are all bad, but they are working on them. They don't have as many dollars and tax dollars as a lot of suburban schools do have. So I'll definitely say that off the bat. Let's get on into the next one, which is Buffalo General, which is only about 10 minutes away heading downtown. Buffalo General is located in the downtown Buffalo area on the massive campus of the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus or BNMC as most people call it in the Buffalo area or just the medical campus for short. Buffalo General has over 3,300 employees and provides a wide spectrum of clinical, inpatient departments and outpatient services in the specialized programs like cardiac services, general surgery. What makes Buffalo General so special is because it's the leading forefront of the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. This campus is massive. It spreads over blocks and blocks long. They partner with UB Medical Campus as well and then seven other medical facilities and they made this massive campus. I think this thing is probably worth like 50, 100 million dollars. I don't know. I'm exaggerating but this campus is massive and has definitely turned the downtown Buffalo area up side down with so many things going on and you're downtown so let's talk about the area the medical campus has kind of like taken its own name a little bit when it comes to that downtown buffalo area it really has to me almost joined like different neighboring neighborhoods together specifically it sits between allentown to the west and then the fruit belt to the right, which is pretty nice. The fruit belt was always like the hood area <laughs> over there. So it's nice to see so many different things being developed and kind of joining that entire family of neighborhoods together, which is really nice. Now it hasn't all the way reached towards the fruit belt just yet, but it is coming along, especially with the campus doing so much development and they're doing a lot of different renovations and uh, building new 
apartment buildings over there on Michigan and a couple other of those corner properties, especially going down Main Street. Main Street, is, since the medical campus has been there, the east side of Main Street, which is always known as the bad or the, the worst side of Main Street, has done a total 180 when it comes to development, more people moving over there. It's a lot cleaner. It's a lot nicer, a little safer, but it still has a little bit of ways to go. Nonetheless, this has been a huge, huge benefit to the Buffalo community. And then you also have the theater district almost right, be right behind the medical campus. To me, this is the definition of work, eat, sleep, and play. You're already downtown. You don't have to go far to the party. One thing I will say about, about the livability downtown, very walkable. That's one of the best things I would say about our downtown. You can walk everywhere, especially if you're renting in the area. When it comes to downtown Buffalo, unless you're buying a condo, you're going to be renting for the most part. Now, rents have went up substantially in a downtown area. You may or may not want to think about a roommate, uh, depending on, you know, your budget and everything like that. Again, I always ask people, are you renting or purchasing? We can always go from there. Very similar. You're going to have, the, I mean, the neighborhoods are not changing when it comes to that. But when it comes to rentals, most people do rent downtown, whether that's a really, really nice high rise or just something nice close by, like at the Goldwyn, Seneca One, a place like that. But say you did want to purchase. Most people are going to purchase downtown is going to be a condo it's going to be a nice one but it's going to have a price tag to it as well especially if you talk about somewhere like the avant or somewhere along the water you're going to minimally pay probably 350 to about 400,000 for a condo inside that area so again same thing if you want to be on more of the outskirts this is just a little bit of a longer drive, maybe tack on an extra five, six minutes if you wanted to be in a suburb like Chitawaka, Amherst, Kenmore, or someplace like that. So let's actually move out to the suburbs, which is the last hospital that we're gonna talk about, which is Millard Fillmore, located in the Amherst area, which is from downtown, maybe like 20, 25 minutes, depending on how fast you drive. Now, Millard Fillmore, just like his name states, is in the suburban areas of Buffalo, in the Amherst area, right off of Maple. It really services that entire community. Some people call it Williamsville, some people call it Amherst. You maybe even hear some people slip up and call it Getzville or something or East Amherst or something like that. It's literally smack dab in the middle of all those neighborhoods, which is really, really nice because it's allow, it allows them to serve the entire community out there. Now, Amherst is the largest suburb, and we'll get into a little bit of the different neighborhoods and zip codes in a little bit. Miller Fillmore performs approximately 22 thousand surgeries every single year in the areas of general surgery, breast surgery, gynecology, oncology, orthopedic, spine, urology, and a lot, lot more. And they employ a staff of just under 1,700 people. So a pretty sizable hospital if I do say so myself. Most people when they hear suburbs, they get a general idea or depiction of what the suburbs look like. This is probably the epitome of suburbs when it comes to Miller Fillmore and the surrounding areas. It's quiet, super safe. Amherst is always ranked, no exaggeration. Amherst is always ranked in the top five when it comes to safest places in New York. If not, I think in 2012 or something like that, it was ranked like number one in the entire US. Now it's 10 years later, ain't nothing changed. It's still a beautiful, quiet area. Only thing, the biggest thing uh, difference is between obviously the city and that suburban area out there, you're not walking to work unless you're just a true bike rider. I'm driving <laughs> myself. I'm just telling you now, I'm not a runner or biker. That's just me. I stay in shape, but I'm not biking 
20, 30 minutes to work every day. So that's what I would definitely say. It's not as walkable as it would be if you were, you know, inside the city. If you go about 10 minutes west, you're gonna find most of your amenities. They are a lot close to the uh, hospital itself, but most of the part, about seven to 10 minutes down Maple, you're gonna find Maple West uh, Transit, that which is elementary school. And you're gonna find a lot of your amenities, a lot of your diamonds over that area. You're also gonna run into UB as well. But if you go five minutes, east you're gonna run into transit road where that's our main kind of like shopping strip a plethora of restaurants eastern hills mall is over there so you do have a lot around you servicing that community around miller fillmore and again that's just five minutes east now when it comes to actually living in the area this is a true homeowners area 70 percent of people in the amherst or around that miller fillmore area do own their home only 30 percent rent now are there apartments around there of course and it's there we could definitely find you one if you guys did want to rent instead of buying right away and with amherst comes a lot of your top ranked schools as we talked earlier now the difference between inside the city and then amherst is that amherst is broken up into districts so depending on which district you live inside is depending on put what on what high school or middle school possibly your child is going to go to you really have the, the top four so sweet home you're in a sweet home school district amherst central you also have williamsville north and williamsville east so depending on what school district that you're in is depending on what high school that they will go to and they are strict on those borderlines either way it goes all of those schools are great schools i don't think you have a problem with any of them your most diverse is gonna be Sweet Home though. I think they have about a 60-40 split. And that's just because if you look at the Sweet Home School District, I mean, you have so many different neighborhoods combined in there. Now, when it comes to commute times heading into Miller Fillmore, even if you're on the very edge of Amherst, which is that kind of North Bailey area, you are still only talking about 15 minutes to go to work. And you could probably drop your kid off on the way to work if you're even on that edge because you're literally going past the schools. So I know what you guys are thinking. You're saying all that stuff, but what about actually living in the area about the housing and the different um, prices that we're looking to pay? Amherst is broken up into three different zip codes. You have 14221, 14226, and then the last one is gonna be 14228. So I'll break each one of the averages down inside of each one of these zip codes. And I only talked about Amherst. I'm not including Williamsville in that 14221. Also, let me preface this. The avatar used was a three bedroom, three to four bedroom, two bath home, roughly around 2000 square feet. And the reason why I preface this is because in Amherst, you can have, a, say, say that exact home, three bedroom, two bath, 2,000 square feet, two blocks up can be something 3,500 square feet and the price tag is going to be vastly different. You have little subdivisions inside of Amherst that are very prevalent and you will notice as you spin a block two or three times. For that 14221 zip code, you're looking at an average of about 393,000. That's probably gonna be your biggest house. I think that was just over 2200 square feet for the 14226 you're looking at 289 but that's going to be a little smaller of a home probably like a, a, a tutor or like a cape cod style you can find a, a, some really nice ranches in 14226 as well though if you really don't want to do the stairs and then a 14228 is actually the second largest zip code next to the 14221 which is going to be around 377,000, and that's probably just right at that 2000 square foot mark so I know I just packed on a lot of information for you guys about these areas, what they have to offer, showed you restaurants, amenities, schools, all that good stuff. If you guys are moving up here, my name is Devontae Davis, the local realtor in and around this area. I help tons and tons of clients move up here on the weekly basis. So make sure you guys reach out to me with a call, email, text. It does not matter. I always respond. We'll jump on a Zoom call, answer all your questions. And once you guys are up here visiting, I'll take you guys around, show you a few houses, five or six houses in that day or so whenever you guys are here, we'll map that thing out so that you guys can get a better feel for the area. All right. So as always, if you guys have any questions, again, call me, send me email, text, does not matter. 
or drop them in the comment box and I always respond. All right. If there's a specific hospital that you guys want to know more about, just let me know and I'll try to cover that one as well. Alrighty. So as always, I will see you guys inside the next one.